hello and welcome back guys so in this particular session what i'll be solving for you is question number four okay so what we've been given is that what is the probability of getting three on a dice and head on the coin when a dice is rolled and a coin is tossed simultaneously okay simultaneously so are they really are they really dependent event like will one effect affect the other no right so they are basically independent event right so uh, what we can basically do is that how did I get was that so head and a three on a dice right so question number four solution so your probability of getting three on a dice will be basically uh, there will be only one three right so in case of head as well there will be only one head right so the total number of sample in case of three will be six in case of the other one it will be two right so your probability of getting three or a head will be probability of getting three plus probability of getting head and then number of three divided by number of sample plus number of head divided by number of sample right so no it will be multiplication okay because they are independent of each other right so 1 by 6 into 1 by 2 it will be 1 by 12 okay so another way that I can show you as well is that basically so your total number of sample will be so what's the probability of getting a head and a 3 right so you will be getting 1 2 3 4 5 6 right so you will again be getting one two three four five six but you will be getting one head one and tail two and two and head two and tail three and head three and tail four and head five and head six and head right four and tail five and tail six and tail right so total number of sample is one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11 12 right so this is how you can solve as well so the probability of getting 3 and head is how much is it so P mm, what you can basically do is n times 3 and H divided by number of sample right so it will be 1 out of 12 okay so you can understand it, it in this way as well okay whereas because this event does not affect the other that's why it's independent of each other that's why we can multiply okay so either it has to be not a mutually exclusive one okay to multiply otherwise if it's a mutually exclusive one is that if it's not dependent on the other one then you cannot multiply if it is dependent on the other then you cannot multiply okay always remember that so this is how we basically solve this kind of problem if you have any questions regarding this particular problem or anything of this sort please do do comment down below i'll definitely be happy to answer it for you until next time bye bye